What's up guys, Dick Opinion here, and I don't know if you guys are playing this game or not, but I am sick and tired of this intro, and if you are playing, you are too. I really wish you'd switch it up, but it does give you a hint of who's going to be Jason, and that's definitely not the one I picked. I was thinking about doing some tips and tricks, and I'm going to tell you what I do in this game. I Basically, when others. I first spawn in, I immediately look for a house, and they're usually not this far, and I do run all the way to the house. Now, I think there's just so many counselors that for the first minute you get is very crucial. Now, Jason might craft you first, but there's a big chance he probably won't. I normally don't even close the door behind me on the first house I go to. So, they're usually in it so quick. You want to check all the drawers and basically get everything you can, but you're mainly looking for a weapon or a part. And me personally go for the parts because you get more money for that. That's a knife. If Jason grabs you, you can shank him in the neck with that. It's a very viable thing. Now you heard the first ch 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 ha ha ha. The, his infamous catchphrase, if you will. Once you hear that, you know that he's kind of near you. And you might not want to stay in a house. Because he can see the house is all lit up when you're inside a house. At this point, I'm looking for a few things. I'm looking for a better weapon. Which I'm always looking for a machete. Even with the gun, I kind of want a machete. Just because this machete can knock off Jason's mask in one hit. And I want to see Jason without a mask. It'd be cool. So I always go for machetes, my go-to weapon. So I have my go-to weapon. I have a shank, so I'm good if Jason shows up. I don't have a map yet, though. That's my go-to thing. I really like to get a map. Although I'm learning the map itself pretty well. But as you see, Jason, I just saw him up there on the map. So we're going to try not to go that way. I saw him on the mini-map. You want to keep an eye on that mini-map. You want to get used to your locations. That's where I spawned at, so we're going to have to backtrack a little bit, but all in all, we're doing pretty good. I think when it starts to get to this, like, you really have to conserve your running, your stamina. So I like to hide in bushes and look at the uh, rocker chick here, the emo girl, because, you know, I haven't locked Tiffany yet. <laughs> we are on level 10 and a half. You unlocked Tiffany at 18, so we are very close, and I'm going to play it a lot tonight and tomorrow until I unlock Tiffany. It's going to be great. And then I'll work toward unlocking her on new outfits and stuff because I still feel like I'm going to play this for a while. It's very addicting. I don't even know why because it's only three maps and the same stuff over and over. I've literally only played Jason once ever. Once. Ever. And I've at least played this for ten plus hours. There was a whole lot of guess what? Nothing here. I mean at this point I'm looking for a fuse. Or something. This is the radio tower. Whenever you see the radio tower, that means you can call in, what's his name? Tommy. You just gotta find it. Now, Jason can prevent this by cutting the power off. But, more than likely, you can do it. There's a lot of stuff here I want to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and just call him in. Anyone out there? You if anything like this you do, Crystal it'll Lake, add up gun. to your points. Oh, the main points you get is for finishing a game, which Jason's is 500, alive. but if you survive, you get an extra Please 200. You know, if you get anywhere around 800, you did good. If you get over 1,000, you did great. I'd say if you get lower than 500, well, you can't, because it gives you that. But if you get something lower than, like, in the 6, and maybe, maybe 7, it's kind of low. I don't know. I guess 8, 9, and 10 is pretty high when it comes to score at the end of the game. But again, it's all about staying. If you're the first person to die, maybe you should leave. You know, I like understand that. But if there's only like three or four minutes left, I might as well kick it out. Bathrooms always have health sprays. It's an obvious one, I think. I believe one of these two houses I'm about to check will have some sort of map. And for me, always go through windows. The thing about windows, if you can see through them like this, you can open and go through them or jump through them. But if they look like this with the shades, you can't. I want to show you guys jumping through a window next to jumping in it. Because if you hold the button while running up to it, she'll jump through the window. Instead of that's so why I was looking for a map. Now I'm just really looking for a fuse. See where we're at here. Alright, we need to get on the other side after I check out the other house. Okay, so let's try this. So, since that's being chased by Jason, I want to get through this really quick. You can hold it and she'll jump through it. And that hurts you. If I have a first aid, I have two first aids. I'm going to use the first aid. It'll give me some points. It'll say doctor. And that's just more adding to the points. So like I said, the most important thing 
You know, this is points at the end because that's XP. It gives you characters. You can unlock different, you know, skins. You can unlock different characters himself. As I said before, I'm trying to unlock Tiffany because she has a really cute butt. She's a real cute girl. And she's the hardest one to unlock besides the Jasons. And I can't care less about Jasons. You know why? Because I can personally never get to play as Jason, although I do have it set. You get to choose. You can choose what you prefer to be. And mine's preferred to be Jason because it never happens. One day I'll play Jason again, though. One day. I won't be any good at it because they waited too long. So two knives is great. And I want to like use those too, because like I said, we'll let Jason grab you just to stab him if he's by you. Oh, see, I gotta give one up now. I'm gonna give it the spray for the fireworks. As far as I use the spray, and all three things I have now will give me money. So money points. I'm trying to be smart about it. And uh, we're gonna go out the window because I put a trap down there. <laughs> you get points for those traps too. So you gotta be really smart about it. And I don't know if this tips and tricks are helping you, but this is just how I play. Gotta be smart about it. We're working to get XP. You check in and see if Jason's killed two of eight, who's been murdered, who's alive. Listen, and listen, and listen, and hide. You can sneak around if you want. I understand everybody wants to do this. But I have objectives. I'm looking for things. If I, if I was camping, I usually wouldn't move around. I'd probably say, see this guy's doing it. He's walking around all carefully. But if I was camping, I'd probably get behind this and just stand here like this. He's like, Jason would never find you here. Like, there's tons of places to hide, but uh, I don't know. If I don't find that um, repair phone booth thing, then basically we're gonna have to just camp it out. Jason's over there. <laughs> I don't want my character to see Jason because they have this thing called fear. And if Jason, uh, you see Jason, your character will get scared. Basically, it messes up your senses. Your senses. Oh like God. that right there. That scared what my happened? character all the way, but she had the fuse. And that's very important. That's what we needed. So, finding dead bodies, getting freaked out a little bit. Let me explain the fear a little bit more, though. The more you get scared, the more you see Jason, the more he turns off the lights and breaks stuff and hurts you, you get fear. It comes to the point where the map disappears, it gets very faded on the screen, and it's very, very, very easy for Jason to find you in that state. He will definitely find you, he'll definitely kill you, so it's definitely good not to look at him and not to get scared. <laughs> so we have the fuse. That is how I'm able to call the cops. It's in a drawer, usually, but if someone else has it, which is sometimes the case if you're not quick enough, then it'll be on their body when Jason kills them if they're not doing what I'm doing. I'm sending a message to everyone playing this game. If you find the fuse, it is your duty, duty to go out to these houses and look for the fuse box and call the cops. Okay? If you hold the fuse and don't do nothing but hammer in a tree and be a coward and don't go look for the fuse box on these houses, you're a terrible player and you need to help people out. Okay? Fuse boxes are not these. These are power boxes. Jason breaks these to turn off the power. Fuse boxes are red, they're sparking, and I'll have a fuse icon. They'll be on the side of a house. Which house? I don't know. But I'll tell you, I just found that one. But I'll tell you, I always look around for them. Every house I go to, I kind of remember which house, and I always look around for them because you have to do this mini game. These mini games would be left one or right one. If you miss it, I'll make it easier for you. But also, that one was really simple. It's really simple because my character is good at that stuff. If you have a different character, those mini games will be longer and it'll be harder. But it always involves left one and right one and hitting them at a certain time, like you just saw. So we need to find the phone. I don't even care about looking around anymore. I, I have everything I need. I probably will look around. I'm just saying I want to do the phone first. Here it is. It'll be a little green phone somewhere oh, randomly on the, the phone. The somewhere randomly Camp, on the wall. We need you. We need you now. A lot of this He's stuff is uh, randomly generated, everyone. which it has to be. But uh, I'm getting pretty used to figuring out where everything is. Now, honestly, it can go anywhere from here. I don't want that, I'm not even on the mic. I usually, at this point, I'm going to... Oh, I should take the gun, but I'm not. I'm going to just get ready to leave. I'm going to find me a place to where I'm going to go first. Let me see, Jason's on a killing spree, so I have a problem. There's two locations the cops can be on either side, and I'm going to go on the side behind us. The bottom right is where I'm aiming for. I'm going to go there. Honestly, and I'm going to find me a bush, and I'm going to wait this five minutes out, and I'm going to hope that that's where the cops show up out of the two spot. 
50-50 chance. Usually, it's not where I'm waiting. And that sucks. But we're going to go there. And by the way, take your time getting here. I mean, I'm going to sprint there and find a spot, I guess. But you can get your stamina back up. You can chill somewhere. You don't have to be so left wide open on this. Because it takes the cops a minute. I think this campfire would be a perfect place to just wait, wait out the time. So that's all I'm going to do. We'll probably do a jump cut here in a second. Well, I'm just gonna wait it out and uh, and here. Nothing will probably happen. I'll just look at my map and see if anything's going on. So what's cool about this is this map's cool for this because I'm in the middle right now, which is where I'd go if I was Jason. I'd come here because this is like the obvious spot. This that was pretty dumb me because map you see the two bottoms at the bottom where the road goes into the map well those are your exit points and I'm right in the middle of the exit points so that TV effect thing is when Jason leaves it's like when he leaves the area or when he comes in the area because he can teleport and that's his teleport that warning it's your warning it's just he teleported in or out all right, so I'm gonna, I'm banking it's gonna be in this corner down here. I mean, if you look at the mini map where it's gray, you can't go. Where the red line is, you can't go. But where the road veers off is the points that you can leave. The cops will show up. I think there's another one on the far left though. If it's that one, we're screwed. But there's only three of us. He's killed four people, and there's only three alive. So he's he's done really good. And right now, he's frantically searching for all of us, but we're all hiding. We still have two minutes, so I'm just rambling to you guys. <laughs> I said I'd jump cut, but I'm just trying to give you tips on how this works, how the game plays, you know? If it helps, like, appreciate you, man. So I've been <clears throat> chilling behind this tree. The other two people that are alive have been right over there, basically at the very bottom. They think it's going to be there. And Jason's probably just waiting to see where the cops are, just like we are. Because then he's going to teleport there and be like a blocker. So this is the moment to find out what's going on. Is that a dead body right there? Wow. I have, I have distractions and I have a pocket knife and a machete. I think I have a good chance no matter where it is. Alright, it's way on the far side. Which is uh, the worst case scenario. So if I make it, it might be good for the video. We're going to pace run there. Basically means I'm gonna just haul ass and keep looking at the map. Yeah, I'm gonna haul ass directly in front of me. So I run ass stamina up, which will probably be at the house up here. And then I'm gonna kneel down and get all my stamina run again and repeat that process. If you see Jason, which you will, if he's over there. You can actually see him. He's on the left of me over there. If you see Jason and he's chasing you, your best bet is to get in the house. Get in the house, close the doors. And if you have a distraction like fireworks, when he's trying to bust through the door, throw the fireworks down and exit out the back. And haul ass, get in some bush somewhere, and hope that you can get away. And I have getting, gotten away from people that way. It works. But we get to stamina. You see he's waiting. He's waiting up there for us. See him? So this is actually a good thing. So like I said, if Jason's chasing you, which is the case, I'm gonna need to let my stamina up, fill up, all the way. And so I'm doing that, and he's letting me do that for some reason. He should've been busted through the door so I don't have any stamina up. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna jump out that window at these firecrackers, and I'm gonna run to that damn exit, and we're gonna make it because we have certain things that are great. So you wanna put them inside the building so it keeps the building distracted. And then you want to get the hell out of there. So I think I have almost enough stamina to do this. He did, he did not he did not let me do that. He is right on my ass. So, yeah. I think I have enough stamina to make it. But I do want him to grab me for the points. Which he is trying very desperately to do. Well, I got him though. His mask didn't come off, but I got him. So he hit me, he didn't grab me, so I don't know if I'm going to make this or not. I look like I will, but I don't know. 
Oh, I think I made it barely. Is he going to get me? I don't know how far this bridge goes. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, yeah, I successfully escaped on Friday the 13th, the game, and I tried to give you as much information as I as I know my strategies. You can kill Jason. And I'm trying to get that on footage. It does require a lot of work. It is very hard. You can spectate your people afterwards. There's one player left, and he's hidden in a tent. And I hear the Jason music, and he has 30 seconds left. This guy decided not to go for the exit and hide in a tent. You can see the players at the end of each game, whether you die or not. And so it's a little bit fun to watch, because if you quit, if you die early and quit, you won't get the points. So you want to stick with it and get the 500. See how you did at the end. But he did it. He was sitting there in the camp. When you run out of time, you survived. I don't think you'll get points, though, for actually escaping. You get 200 points for escaping. I don't know, though. I don't know. Do you get points for just surviving in the tent? I don't know everything. <laughs> Although I have survived in the tent. I like the tent. So cool. That's my good boy. Mommy I think Jason did pretty good. Only two people he missed. Home, it's not bad. So the points look like I got over a thousand, I got twelve hundred. It's great. So I just see if you complete a match, you get five hundred. If you escape, you get two hundred, which is great. The reinforcements, one hundred. So that's a lot of uh, doors I close. Defense and offense as well. The fixer, like all this stuff, is like doing the spray, and uh, you know, like closing the doors, putting down the uh, traps. That's all that stuff builds up. And I'm about to be on level eleven. That's a full game on Friday the 13th. It helped. <laughs> like, leave a comment, tell me some of your strategies that uh, might make my strategies better. And uh, talk to you later. Peace.